once human dev promises strict action against PvP exploits being abused. Once human is still a relatively new game, but as the game progresses, more events are being added to the title. This includes a variety of PvP events for players to take part in. However, Starry Studio, the developers of Once Human have become aware of players using terrain exploits to try and get a victory. As a result, Starry Studio has promised strict action against those who are aiming to undermine the fairness and enjoyment of the game in the Prism vs Clash PvP mode. With the latest update to Once Human, this game has now rivaled games such as Rust, Days and Seven Days to Die on Steam's storefront, but the use of terrain exploits has become a consistent problem for those wanting to engage in PvP. The Once Human update featuring Prism vs Clash was added in Patch 1.2 which was released last week. The update allows two teams of metas to fight against one another, with players choosing which faction they want to support. Then, the players have to fight to claim prison deviations. While this game mod E would typically be a lot of fun, the servers are currently plagued by players who want to exploit the terrain features, where players climbing mountains or hiding in bodies of water can become near invincible. As Starry Studio is now aware of the situation, they have said that they are intending to take strict action against these violations. While a lot of the time, these sorts of statements are quite vague and don't explain what the action is, Starry Studio has specified what they have in store for those violating the rules. Once any of these violations are confirmed, it will wipe all points earned by the offending character, and the player's account will be banned for a minimum of 30 days. The bans will be extended if that doesn't act as a deterrent. For severe cases, bans can last up to 10 years. On the official website, the developers have also posted all characters who have been banned or reprimanded thus far for exploiting the game. Starry Studio has asked those who catch offenders in the act to take a screenshot of the character and submit a report using the in-game customer support tools. In the meantime, once human developers are working on adding a new detection system for prison deviations, the units will no longer be able to be placed in water. We hope all metas will follow the game rules and maintain a fair and fun environment for everyone, says Starry Studio in the conclusion of their statement.